we're back to an equation that I shared you before, which is for an ARMA model, which includes an autoregressive and a moving average component. Uh, just to tie this in with what we were doing back in R, if we were trying to specify this as a model in the ARIMA function, we would have it as an order one for the autoregressive component here and no differencing. So we're predicting the value at yt, not a differenced component. So this would be a zero. And then we have an order of one for the moving average. And so we would give it that. And so this would be how we would specify this particular model if we were doing this through the Arima function in R. But our next challenge here is to take this model and introduce a seasonal component to it. And it turns out it's actually quite simple the way it, that it incorporates it. Nice for a change. And the way we do that is by simply directly incorporating these 12 month and 24 month lags. And that's how we'll get our seasonal component in. So when we're talking about adding a seasonal signal to an ARIMA model, we're talking about adding, say, a seasonal AR component. And just like with the other things we talk about, I'm having orders, and this is the magnitude of the lag. And if I have an order of one for, say, a seasonal AR component, what I have is one annual cycle. So in our case, I'm lagging the data from, say, March to one year previous, so the previous March, and that would be a one year cycle. And that's how we're gonna pick up that seasonal signal because what we expect is that every month in our data is going to have a correlation, some correlation with what happened a year ago during that month because of that seasonal signal that's, that's underlying the structure of the data. So we put this into our model simply by, and what this term is saying is I'm, now added this comparison, this information from the observed value at a 12 month lag. If I wanted to add, say, a seasonal MA, I would do something similar. I would add my coefficient, and then I would add that error component from 12 months previous or 12 lags before. So in our NDVI data, we saw a one, annual cycle signal, so that 12 month signal, but we also saw the 24 signal. And if we wanted to add a two year uh, seasonal signal, a two annual cycle correlation into our structure, all we would do is add yet another term that incorporated that information from 24 months prior to the, the focal observation that we're trying to explain. So now let's go back to R and we'll start to incorporate seasonal signals into our model.